This is the Rope Masters Video Cast, your source for the best in rope skipping instruction. Hosted by world champion Peter Nessler. Welcome back to the Video Cast. I am actually just about to get ready to head on my big school tour for this next upcoming school year. Um, I've only got a couple weeks left, and things have just been hectic trying to get ready. We've got some new videos done. Uh, the Jump Rope Basics DVD is done. So maybe if you've been watching these things, you really like the JV skill, you want to learn some more things like that. I've actually put together um, a kind of a compilation of all the beginner skills from our single rope skills, our double dutch, and our Chinese wheel video, all kind of combined into one. And we've done it for a real low price. You can check that out at the website, jumprm.com. And, uh, you know, pick that up. You'll be able to learn a lot of different stuff from that. Now, this episode, I'm actually outdoors here in Oklahoma. Tonight is one of the first nights that's not killer. It's been up in the 90s, 100 degrees a night. It's just, just been tough. And I don't really like the heat, me being in Alaska. So I'm kind of enjoying the little bit cooler weather tonight. I think it's only like 80-something, so it's a little bit more bearable. So I'm outside. I'm going to be showing you some different skills here in single rope again. The um, JV will be doing an AS cross, which is a crisscross behind the knees. And for the varsity, I'll be showing you a trick that Trent Cunningham and myself made up uh, way back in the day when we were competing. It's called the TP cross. It's kind of a cool variation on the regular um, EK full twist. Or it's not actually not even a cross. It's a TP full twist. So it's a variation on the EK full twist. And it's kind of a fun one that you can learn to do. It adds a little bit of variety to the way different twisting tricks can look because you're adding your legs in um, as well as your arms. The JV skill. For the JV skill, we're going to kind of continue on from last episode. Last time we did a CL. This time we're going to do a trick called a AS cross. Now this is basically just a crisscross behind your knees. What it'll look like when you do it, you'll be jumping down and up. Now there's two different ways you can kind of do this. Some people will um, kind of go out, pause, jump through, and then up, which I'm not superbly great at because I don't like pausing. Or you can just kind of jump through it here and up. Let's do that one more time. And up. Now, to do this trick, what you're going to do is you're going to first start off, you're going to bend over. Now, it's important that anytime you bend over doing a trick like this, that um, if you get dizzy or anything while you're standing like this, just stand back up. Let some blood get back to your head. You don't want to flop over on your face. Um, so you're going to go down. You're going to go ahead, do a cross. Which hand is on back, which hand is on top doesn't really matter. You can't really even tell um, if you're watching it. So don't worry about trying to learn it with the left hand on top, right hand on top. It doesn't matter. So just kind of work on, you know, just pick a side, whichever hand you feel more comfortable with in the back. You're going to go down. You're going to reach around. Cross as big as you can. Remember, anytime you do a cross, especially behind the back or behind your legs, you want to cross as big as you can. So you're going to cross as big as you can. Swing the rope over. Jump real high. This one's kind of important because the rope, because uh, when you're down in a position like this, the rope will come over, and there's so much rope on the ground that if you don't jump high, you're not going to make it over. So you want to make sure you jump real high. And then once you've jumped it, bring your hands up, stand back up, and you're ready to jump again. So what it'll look like, you're going to jump here, you're going to go down, jump, and back up. And from the back, it would look like this. You go jump, down, and up. And I'll show you one time from the side as well, so you can kind of get a look at that. You go here, down, oh, let's try it one more time. Here, and up. So once again, just remember the big things here. You want to just sort of go down, cross as big as you can. You're going to kind of reach here. You jump over, cross, jump as big as you can on that. Bring your arms out and jump normal. Varsity skill. For the varsity skill, we're going to be doing a TP full twist. This is a trick that a uh, good friend of mine, Trent Cunningham, and myself made up quite a few years ago. And for the TP, it's a variation on the EK. And if you remember the EK, you go from front all the way back around and land. Now for the TP, you're going to kind of combine that with an under the leg movement. It's not really a cross, it's more of just a kind of an added flourish, I guess would be the word, to doing the EK. What you'll be doing is you'll be jumping forward. When you jump, just like you're going to go for your EK, you're going to go up. At this point, instead of just bringing it under and then turning, you're actually going to bring up the leg that's in the direction you're turning. So if I'm turning to my left, I'm going to bring up my left leg, take my right arm, bring it under my left leg, here, and then just bring it out when I land. Now what it'll look like in the air, you'll go from here, you'll jump, 
and down. So I'm not really adding a whole lot of extra turns or anything to it. It's just kind of a little bit different motion. It's got kind of a cool look to it versus just a standard EK. So once again, you're going to go from here. You're going to jump. If I turn to my left, bring my left leg up. It's going to kind of come up when you're in the back and kind of continue around all the way until you're bringing it down out of it. So you're going to go from here, bring it up. Right arm just kind of goes under. Both arms are out on this side. Bring it around and then just swing it under your leg. So once again, if you actually jump through it, you go from here, turn, jump, jump. And we'll do that one more time. So you jump from here, turn, jump, jump. So in the air, all the way around. And you can work on doing it to both sides, but it's kind of one of those tricks that usually you'd only do once, maybe in a routine, but it looks cool. I really enjoy doing it. And uh, once you got that down, you've got the teepee. For more information, check out www.jumprm.com.